a poisonous snake scare in a residential area of University City, and it was all caught on this nest cam. A woman was taking out her trash when she was bitten by a copperhead. Queen City News reporter Lindsay Klein is live in Charlotte tonight with more on that terrifying encounter. And Lindsay, I feel like this is a really good a reason or excuse to just skip taking out the trash altogether. <laughs> Yeah, definitely something to think about. I did speak to the woman's husband. Luckily, she is doing okay and received a tetanus shot. But snake encounters are definitely something to think about as the weather continues to warm up this summer. It's not the type of situation you see sneaking and slithering up on you on an average Thursday night. It was really scary. What was supposed to be a normal night of taking out the trash for Eric Candiani and his wife Tammy took a terrifying turn. And I just started hearing screaming, and I don't usually hear that from my wife. So I, I ran around the corner to see what was going on, and she had been bitten by a snake but didn't know what it was or what kind. A copperhead. It was about 22 inches long. Took a bite out of Tammy's foot. I got her away from the situation, and I started trying to find out what kind of snake it was so we could tell the hospital because at that point, I didn't know if it was how bad it was. Luckily, she's doing well, but the situation obviously could have been much worse. So she got really lucky because one, one of the things, one hit her shoe and the other one went into her foot. <laughs> Whether you are out doing yard work or simply just taking a stroll around the neighborhood, it's the time of year you can never be too safe from a slithering snake. It was a residential area. We're kind of new. We're, we're from California, so the whole snake um, copperhead thing is relatively new for us. If it's 40 degrees or warmer, they're out. Snake expert Grover Barfield. They wrap around you pretty tight. Works for Carolina's Reptile Rescue. When you walk outside, you're now in their environment. He says as the weather continues to warm up, you'll find them everywhere. The snakes continue to come out. If you go outside at night, have a flashlight or a headlamp, wear closed toed shoes. She was wearing flip flops and luckily, like I said, one of the fangs hit her flip flop it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> And we're coming up on the tail end of mating season for snakes in North Carolina. Copperheads are the most common venomous snakes in the state. So definitely something to think about if you're out and about in the yard. Barfield also says if you do get bitten by a snake, try to take a picture quickly for identification purposes and then quickly get to a nearby hospital that can have some anti-venom treatment right away. Live in Charlotte, Lindsay Klein, Queen City News. Oh boy, Lindsay, that is so scary, but we are so glad that she is doing okay.